What's up guys and gals? Nate here and I'm back with another homebrew review for you. Today I've got a special one from Elder P. And uh, this is a recipe I helped them come up with, conjure up. Told me what he had in, in store and um, in stocks and I said okay let's throw something together. So this is, we, we dubbed it, I think I came up with the name any kind of IPA will do. And it's uh, Maris Otter, some two row, <clears throat> a little Pilsner, flaked oats, uh, some Crystal 40, and some Caramunic. And then uh, the hops are uh, Comet, Chinook, some Super Alpha, Dr. Rudy, and um, Pacific Jade. And Jarlo, so it's got it's got a gaggle of hops in it, <clears throat> and then uh, fermented with English ale yeast. I think this is the one. I think this used yeah, this is a WLP002. So Let's get a little aggressive on that. All right. Well, pretty, that's for sure. Not a whole lot of head on it. And I'm not sure how his uh, bottle technique is performed, this bottling technique, what he's using for bottling off the keg. I think it's a bottling wand on a picnic tap kind of thing, kind of like Laramo. Let's get an aroma. Oh, yeah. That smells like a, sounds like a juicy IPA to me. Nice. A little bit of malt coming into the back background there. Uh, let's see, when did he brew this? I think he brewed this early August, late July. So it's got a little bit of age on it. So, um, ABV, boy, I don't remember what he got on that for ABV. The target, gra the target ABV was something like 6.5%. So. My guess is that he got a little bit better at efficiency and ended up more like seven. So cheers. Let's get into it. Not bad. I kind of like the uh, bittering on it. It follows up, up with a bunch of juice, juicy, juicy fruits like, uh, like almost like strawberry and um, mango a little bit. Hmm. Malts are coming in. Balancing that out a bit. There's a bit of sweetness to it. it kind of hits you with the bitter up front. It kind of sweetens out mid palate and then dries out and and uh, leaves a little bit of a bitter, bitter bite in the back end. But the only thing I can say is I wish it had a little more carbonation. I think it's starting to show a little age. But all in all, that's pretty good. There you go, Elder. Getting some. Police are coming. I wonder if they're coming here. <laughs> that could be an ambulance. It's a pretty beer. Um, what can I say about it? It's a little on the flat side. But... There's also a um, kind of a spicy, peppery component in there. I can see some hop debris in there, too. <laughs> you know you're getting the good stuff. It 
There's a lot of character in this thing. Uh, it's got a, it's got the fruity components, and then it's got that spicy kind of peppery component, but not like a, a Belgian or saison peppery. But just like a touch of black pepper. It's kind of interesting. It's really all I can say. So I'm going to cut loose. Enjoy the rest of this. It's a beautiful day here. Probably mid-70s. Just gorgeous. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks, Elder P, for sending this my way. There is some carbonation. And uh, I'll reciprocate. i got a package in the works for you. So cheers. Home brew up.